Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we'll go through a really fun and quite a creative flow where we'll work into a twisting jiva squat. Um, we can start on our hands and knees. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we start to connect to our breath through some cat-cow movement. So you can inhale, reach up through the chin and the sitting bones. Drop the heart and then exhale, round the spine. Push the mat away from you. Inhale. You can start quite gently. And then, depending on how your spine is feeling, in this moment you can make the movement really big, bringing in the vertebra of the lower back and the upper back, the neck as well. But just move with your breath, taking really deep, Conscious inhales in through the nose. And then exhaling through the nose. You can even close your eyes for a moment. We'll take a few more rounds. Good. And then with your next exhale, you can find a neutral spine. I'm going to kick our right leg up behind us, open through the chest, try to square through the hips and the shoulders as much as possible. Take another inhale, reach a little bit further. And then as you exhale, bring your right foot all the way to the side and place it on the floor, basically now it's off the mat, next to your uh, left knee. Good. We're going to inhale, reach up through the arms. And then as you exhale, drop your left hand down, off the mat again. Reach your right arm up. Good. Lengthening through the side body, maybe slightly pushing the hips forward. We'll make the stretch a little bit more intense. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, come back through center. We'll bring our hands back onto the mat and then pick the right foot off the mat and bring the leg towards the back of the mat. We'll then bring the knee down, but cross it behind the right one and start to move your ankles away from each other. We're going to sit into a gomakasana. If that feels tricky, you can also find your way there, kind of moving your legs through the side. If you're able to sit back, feel free to do that. So basically we end up in a seated position where we have our left knee stacked on top of the right. And this position can look quite different as well. It might be a little bit more open. You might want to open your legs all the way. As long as you find a stretch in the hips, in the IT band, we'll find length in the spine and drop the shoulders down. Take an inhale here. And then as we exhale, we come over the knees, if you can, or through the side, onto all fours and then release the right knee so that knees are next to each other again. Good. Take one round of cat-cow. Inhale. Drop the heart. Exhale, round the spine. Finding a neutral spine, we're going to inhale, reach the left leg back behind you. Find opening in the chest, square through the hips. Take another inhale to lengthen even further. And then as you exhale, bring the left uh, foot all the way to the left, place it down in line with the right knee. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, drop the right hand down. Good, left arm reaches up. There's a lot of cockerels in my background this morning, I hope. <laughs> That doesn't disturb anyone. It's a bit intense. <laughs> we push the hips forward slightly. Breathing deep, lengthen through the left side of the body. Take an inhale. And then come back through center. We place our hands back onto the mat. Pick the left foot up and bring it all the way to the back. Crossing the left knee behind the right. Now create space between the ankles first, so move them to the sides. And then if you're sitting back from here, only sit back after you've moved your ankles to the sides. Good. If you need to adjust to the, through the hips or through the feet, you can do that. But once you feel quite comfortable, 
Remember, there's so many variations here, so you can open the position up more. Um, once you're quite comfortable, you can start to settle down. Taking a few deep breaths. The spine lengthens. And we exhale out. Now coming over the knees, onto hands and knees. You can unravel the legs coming back onto all fours. We're going to tuck our toes under and reach the hips up into a downward facing dog. Good. Finding a bit of space here first. Maybe some extra stretching, moving the hips from side to side. Paddle the feet out. Maybe bend one knee at a time. See what feels good in your body in this moment. Good. Keep breathing, keep guiding the hips up and back. Spine is long. Good. With our next inhale, we're going to move forward. We pull forward through the spine, coming into a plank. We'll go through a vinyasa. Knees come down or up. Come all the way onto the mat. Inhale. Cobra. Exhale back down. Tuck the toes under. Pushing up either on knees or knees can also stay in the air. We find our way into a downward facing dog. Good, take a full inhale and exhale. We'll do that again, inhale, move forward. Maybe with a rounded spine, vinyasa, either with the knees down or lifted. Upward facing dog or cobra. Open up, pull the shoulders back and downward facing dog. Good, we'll do that once more with our next inhale. Ripple forward, round through the spine, lower halfway or all the way, upward facing dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. Good. Take a full breath here. And exhale out. From our downward facing dog, we're going to reach our right leg up behind us. And then as you exhale, step the foot forward between the hands. We'll release the left knee down and inhale our arms up. We exhale, drop the hips low. Good. Return your hands onto the mat. We'll ground the left hand down, lift the left knee off the mat and open up into a twist here. Long, li long line from the left hand to the right fingertips. And breathe, really lengthening the back leg, guiding the back heel towards the back of the mat. We'll inhale here. And then as you exhale, we're going to come into a jiva squat. So the left knee moves so that it taps the right calf and the right elbow comes and meets the knee. Good. And then we open up again into that twist, that lunge, and then exhale, bring the knee in again. Inhale, open, reach, and exhale, tap. Good. From here, we're going to simply release the left knee and the left foot onto the mat and come into a seat. Right knee pointing up. We bring our right fingertips behind us, reaching the left arm up. And then as you exhale, twist. So locking the left elbow over the right knee. Good. Gaze over the right shoulder. Good. We'll then find our way back to center. Left hand grounds down again. We'll come into our twisting lunge. Reach the right arm up. Inhale here. Now really grounding down through the feet. Press down through the right foot. We come all the way up into a crescent lunge. Keep pushing the right heel down. Reach up through the arms, take an inhale, 
And then as we exhale, we'll find a skandhasana at the back of the mat. So the left heel turns, the left knee bends, and we move towards the back of the mat. You can also stay a little bit higher up, perhaps here, or then come all the way down, keeping your hands on the mat or bringing them to heart center up to you. We rise up from here, finding a warrior two at the top of the mat. Good. Arms open out to the sides. And breathe. Our next inhale guides us into a reverse warrior. Open up through the right side body. And then exhale, move through center, coming into a side angle. Reach the left fingertips over. Roll the right shoulder back. Find width in the collarbones. And we take an inhale. And then as you exhale, the hands come back down onto the mat. We'll step into a plank pose, moving through a vinyasa. Good. Exhale into a downward facing dog. Good. Take a full breath in. And out. Then reach the left leg up behind you. And exhale, step the foot forward between the hands. Right knee grounds down and we reach the arms up. And as you exhale, drop the hips a little bit lower. Good. Then we bring our hands down, ground the right hand down, lift the right knee off the mat and open the left arm up. Good. We guide the right heel towards the back of the mat. Good. Take an inhale here. And then as we exhale, we come into those jiva squats. So the right knee taps the left calf, the left elbow moves in as well. And inhale, open. And exhale. Inhale, open one final time. Exhale. Now release the right knee onto the mat, the right glute as well. Left hand is behind you, right arm reaches up, and exhale, lock the elbow over the knee. We gaze over the left shoulder, finding a twist here. Take an inhale, and then as we exhale, we find our way back towards the top of the mat, right hand grounds down, Right foot steps back, inhale length. And exhale, we start to really ground the left foot down and then rise up as you inhale. Drop the hips a little bit lower, maybe if that feels good. Drop the shoulders down, but reach the fingertips up. Inhale. And then we turn the right heel. We're coming into a skandhasana at the back of the mat. Hands at heart center or on the mat. Hips can be higher as well. Good. We push back into a warrior two. Open the arms out and drop the shoulders. Good. With our next inhale, we move forward. Reverse the warrior as you exhale. Good. Then move back through center. Left elbow onto the knee. Right arm up and over. Keep breathing. Good. Bending deeper into the left knee if that's there for you. Remember to keep opening the left knee out so don't allow it, allow it to collapse towards the center line. Good. And then we're going to release our hands onto the mat. Step into a plank pose going through a vinyasa of your choice. It might be with the knees down or straight down. Good, we find our way into a downward facing dog and meet there. From here, with our next inhale, we come onto the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, and then find your way to the top of the mat. It might be a hop, a step, a few steps, coming into a forward fold. 
Inhale, lengthen through the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold over. Good. We'll do that once more. Inhale, length. And exhale, fold over. We then come all the way up to standing. Arms reach overhead. And then hands to heart center. Good. You can move your feet next to each other at the top of the mat as we move into our sort of main sequence. We're going to inhale, sitting back into a chair pose. The hips move back. Also the knees slightly move back so we don't wanna move the knees forward. We still see the toes. Take an inhale here. And then hands come to heart center and we twist towards the right. Left elbow onto the right knee. Maybe you gaze over the right shoulder. And check with your knees as well, make sure they're still in line. That means your hips are squared too. We take an inhale here. And then we're gonna to start to bring our weight onto the right foot. Sneak the left foot off the mat and see if you can step it back into a lunge. So we now come into a twisting lunge here. Good. Take an inhale. And as we exhale, we rise all the way up. Open the arms out. Good. Inhale here. And stay for the exhale. With our next inhale, we bring our arms all the way up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. We return into that twist. Left elbow onto the right knee. And then we'll start to bring our weight forward, sneaking the left foot off the mat and see if you can bring it into a jiva squat with a twist. So left knee, right shin, good. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, release the left hand onto the mat, left leg extends back, right arm reaches over. Good. So this is a revolved half moon. We press the left foot as if there was a wall behind us, so you can really flex the left foot. Long arms twisting towards the right. Take an inhale. As we exhale, we press down through the right foot and lift all the way up. We'll find a twist here, either with your hand on the left knee or all the way on the left foot, the outer edge of the left foot. Left arm reaching back. Good. Take an inhale here. Releasing the leg, we'll bring it all the way back again and now descending into that twisting jiva squat from here. Left knee towards the right shin, left elbow hooks over the thigh. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, you can release your fingertips onto the mat and the left foot as well. Good. Lengthen as you inhale. And exhale, fold over. Well done. That's a lot of work on your right leg, the standing leg. We're going to lift all the way up to standing. Arms reach overhead. And then hands to heart center. Good. We'll move on to the other side. So bringing your feet together at the top of the mat, we'll sit back, reaching the arms up. Hips move back. Make sure you can still see your toes. Take a deep breath. And then hands come to heart center. We twist right elbow over the left knee. Good. Maybe gaze up. Make sure you're still squaring through the hips, the knees. We inhale, starting to bring your weight onto the left foot, sneaking the right foot off the mat and step it towards the back of the mat, coming into that lunge. Good. Take an inhale, opening up, and then we press down through the left foot, Rise up and open the arms out. Left arm moves back, right arm forward. And maybe you gaze towards the back of the mat. Good. We're going to inhale the arms up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. And we twist again. Elbow onto the knee. Take an inhale here. Start to bring your weight forward. Step the right foot. 
into the left shin. Good, so coming into your first twisting jiva squat. Good, take an inhale. Release the right fingertips down, extend the right leg back, left arm lifts up. If you've got the balance, you can gaze up. I'm not feeling super balanced personally today. Good, long line between the arms. Keep the right leg really, really active. Good. We press the left foot down to lift ourselves up. Left hand crosses either to the right knee or over the right knee, or you can go for the outside edge of the foot to right arm reaching back. Good. We breathe in. And then bring the knee in. We're going to move the right leg back, bend through the left knee, hands at heart center, twist and bring the right knee into the shin again. Good. Take just an inhale. And then hands release down, right foot down too. Good. Take an inhale length. Exhale, fold over. Well done. That's quite a tough one. We're going to step into a plank pose. Just going through one more vinyasa. It can be a gentle one. Inhale. And exhale down. Onto hands and knees and downward facing dog. Good job. We'll reach our right leg up behind us. And then exhale, right knee in towards the right uh, wrist. We'll come into a pigeon pose. You can slide the left leg back. First, finding length here. Inhale. And then exhale, fold over the legs. We'll take a few deep breaths here, allowing the hips to relax, release. And allowing yourself to come back to your breath. Maybe you lost track of it for a moment in all that movement. Bring your focus back in. We're going to come back onto the hands. If you were on your forearms, tuck the left toes under and simply step into a downward facing dog. From here, reaching the left leg up behind us. And then left knee in towards the left wrist, sliding the right leg back. Good. You can find length here first. Adjust through the hips if necessary. And then fold over the front leg. Taking long, deep breaths. Allowing every exhale to sink you a little bit deeper towards the mat. Good. And then pushing back onto your hands. This time we'll bring our weight onto the left side and swing the right leg forward. You can bend through the knees, reach the arms forward, and roll your spine all the way down. We'll hug our knees in towards the chest. You can really hug them in close for a moment. Maybe gently sway from side to side. And then we'll come into a happy baby pose. So bringing your hands onto the ankles, the big toes, the outside edges of the feet, or maybe closer to the knees if you feel like your hips are a little bit tight today. And as much as you can, relax the shoulders onto the mat. Lengthen through the spine to ground the lower back onto the mat. And breathe. Take one more deep inhale. And then you can bring your feet back in, release the legs onto the mat. We'll find our Shavasana, arms resting by your sides, perhaps with the palms facing up. Legs are super relaxed. 
No more engagement needed, no effort needed from the body. Just arriving at a really soft place. Soften through the jaw, the back of the neck, the core, all the muscles around the hips. And then dropping into Shavasana for a moment. You can spend as long here as you like, or you can start to find your way up, back up with me, maybe finding a big stretch through the whole body, guiding a deeper inhale in through the nose. I'm going to hug my knees into the chest and then drop onto one side, finding a seat, a cross-legged seat. Arriving in your seat and just stopping for a moment, feeling all of the effects of all the movement, the rest of Shavasana, and just observing the sensations. When you're ready, you can bring your hands to heart center, expressing gratitude, and then bowing your head towards your hands. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. Uh, I hope this was a fun one for you. It turned out uh, quite spicy, a little bit spicier than I thought myself. <laughs> um, but um, it was quite a fun sequence. If you do enjoy my classes, please subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is just below the video. Um, I also appreciate all the comments, all the requests for different kinds of flows in the comment section. Um, I really hope I see you here next week too. Thank you.